Good morning. This is our newsletter block for this month. It's a nine patch star. This one is called Twin Stars. And you might notice it uses just two fabrics and your background, which may be either black or white or black and white. And this star, I, I like it because the two colors, uh, the, it looks like the two stars are sitting on top of one another. But I thought I would make another variation. And so I'm gonna try that out today. If you have, can find in your stash, a fabric that has maybe a variation of reds to yellows or blues to greens, any sort of variegated fabric, this might work. We'll see. So for my star this, this time, I'm going to need to cut two squares that are four and a quarter. This will be for the star points. This square will be in the center. I decided to use the orange in the center of the block because it will look like a combination of red and yellow. Then these are the points. This will be the star that lays on top. So I'm going to go ahead and make um, triangles, cut these into triangles, half square triangles, and these into quarter square triangles, and then um, put them together and let's see how it works. I think it's just a great idea to try um, to use different, um, a little different ideas when you're designing your nine patch stars. Now I have my triangles and my squares all laid out. And I have to tell you, I always have difficulty with this friendship star type pattern, getting the triangles in the right place. I had trouble doing these red and black, especially when I made the other one. So I suggest that for me, it just helps to lay them all out. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to flip the black over the red and I'm going to put them, uh, line them up. And then I'm going to sew this seam right there. Then I'm going to go down here and do the same thing and leave everybody else just sitting there so that I don't get black and red in the wrong position. I'm also making sure because it matters to me that these little lines are going up and down. I don't think I did that on the first block. So it's not a big deal, but it matters to me on this one. When you sew the small B triangle pairs to the C bigger triangle, you will notice that the, they don't match exactly. And that's on purpose. I cut that C square a little bit bigger. And that was because I don't like to cut like three and seven eighths or something. So I cut it at four. And what we're going to do is we're going to press these and then we're going to trim these squares to three and a half inches finished. Okay, we have our squares all sewn together. And now, here they are. And now I'm trimming them. And there isn't a whole lot to trim, as you can see. I've laid my small square ruler on top with a diagonal line across the seam. And I'm looking at the three and a half marks. So I've got a little to trim there, just a little triangle to trim there, and just the slightest amount up there. So I trim that and then I'm gonna flip him around we are trimming each of these to exactly three and a half. And this way we don't end up with them being a little bit too short. This has to come to three and a half. This comes to three and a half. And as you can see, basically we're just trimming off the little triangles and maybe a slight bit at the top. But it's, it seems like it works better for me if I make them a light tad bigger and then trim them off. And then I will place them back into their spot.
Okay, I have my rows, or my blocks in sewn into rows, and I've just finger pressed them. So they're ready to sew the rows together, and then we'll be all finished. Um, sometimes I press them with an iron, but for this, I thought it'd be better just to finger press. And um, the pattern directions has the arrows to show you which way to press. All right, my red and yellow twin star block is all finished. And I like it. I think I might also like this if I substituted a red and yellow stripe fabric right in the center. Or maybe a dot fabric with those two color choices in it. There's lots and lots of possibilities with this twin star block. Try them out.